Hey everyone, today I'm gonna showcase my Galaxy Samsung Galaxy Watch 6. I've been using a <laughs> Xiaomi watch. light for one and a half years and then I like I like it. I like how how, how it's been used but really I have to update my phone plan so I got a Galaxy Watch 6. So I'm pretty excited. It's a lot more a lot more features compared to the Xiaomi watch I had. I'm gonna keep my Xiaomi watch in case I need it. But wait I'm gonna switch to switch to this so give a quick kind of unboxing and showcase of my Samsung Galaxy watch so I actually open, opened it already right there's the charging cable thingy here's the box right, it's actually a pretty mediocre, bo mediocre box for a Samsung product because I guess it's not on the phone so they didn't put much better effort into the box oh, let's open up the box Okay, so you can see here's the inside of the box. You can see here's a box compartment where they store all the related uh, cables and information. Let's yeah, not open it, it's hard to get it out. And here's the main body of the watch. Right. We just put it in. I recall like the watch six classic they, they have like a strap instead of a different strap where you can pick Right, this one just comes with the default strap. What the? Look at this. I already set up my watch a little bit already with my different kind of information. So let's take a look. Ah. Okay. So I think that wearing the watch is a lot riskier than actually, you know, hitting a watch. You can actually damage it. So I'm gonna get a protective case for later. But here's the the watch on my hand. What it's looking like, and this is the the watch face I have chosen. Here is the this is the daily step. It's tracking. This is the heart heart rate. It's at 70 right now. I'm pretty pretty down right now. To my normal right now. I mean. And here's the stress level, which I kind of care a little bit because sometimes I get really stressed uh, from work. And then here is the, the weather uh, for different times, so 10 p.m., 11 p.m., the next three hours, I guess, and then the date and then the weather. It's cloudy today. Okay, so I think when you swipe up, you get the web into the app interface. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Oh, so I guess you can need to click this to unlock and then you swipe up you get the what the typical app interface where where you have all the apps here and then you install the app from your phone right but you know since I already set it up so this is the so I'm envisioning some of the major app that I'm gonna use is the Samsung health monitoring the Google Assistant Spotify and uh, alarm that kind of stuff so i haven't really explored that much but yeah this if you want to install a new app we just go on the phone and install it okay but the main feature of this phone is the hell monitoring oh there's so much motorcycle sound where i live so pardon me on that so i think the main thing is i put like a shortcut for those so this is where how it you can access them so as you see here's a the manual system of the Samsung Galaxy watch it's kind of interesting right it's a it's like a spin wheel kind of thing and the actual thing has the classic version it has a, actually has a me real mechanical swing wheel here just a touch it's a pretty nice when I, when I spin wheel it has like a good haptic feedback which gives an interesting uh, feel to it Okay, so this is the first interface. It gives you the how much calorie you burn, right? How many time you sleep, and then the step you take. Okay. This is the next one where you can do some exercise. So for for me, uh, 
I'm probably gonna probably do running. Walking? I'm not sure. Cycling haven't done for years since I since I joined uh, my job. The current job assignment I have. If I can just go back to uh, to cycling sometime. Okay, and then the next interface is uh, another dashboard, I guess. Some similar to the first one. The sim the first one is uh, R. It's R. Artistic representation chart tracking. Then this one is a dashboard. Actually, I like dashboard better. I'm probably going to remove the the. The chart representation of the okay so it's it, this is the place it tracks your sleep but i haven't slept with my watch yet <laughs> slept with my watch sound funny so so later if i really sleep it'll track how many hours i sleep and the quality of uh, my my sleeping uh, okay and then you go to the next one this is the the body composition ratio uh, analysis tool. It's it's kind of neat. You can actually do it right on the phone. So I'm gonna just demo it. So you do measure. Here's my this my weight. And then all I need to do is put those two fingers here, right? And it'll start measuring my body fat, my water composition, etc. Right. It's an interesting art, pretty neat. Okay, all right. So this is the the record, right? I have ninety three kilograms, like thirty two point five percent is my skeleton mu muscle, or my muscle mass, and my fat mass thirty one point seven kg. I have forty four point nine forty five kilograms of water, so my body fat is thirty four percent. I think this is a little bit higher than what what actually is, because um, I think I'm around like 32, 31 percent. Here's my BMI. Here's my calories, average calories burned per day, which is kind of low for my weight, I guess. Oh, I need to measure each day with an empty stomach, so that'll be a more accurate result. Okay. Anyways. So this is a quick showcase of this uh, body composition measurement thingy. Very neat. Okay, and then going to the next one. This is the weather, right? And this is the percent. I think I think this is the percentage that's raining and the percentage that is sunny. This is the alarm, alarm clock, which is useful stuff. This is the where it tr track the stress level. And you see right now my stress level is pretty low, right? Pretty normal. So I think if your stress level is high, it gives you a little bit of breathing thingy. Mm. Oh, I didn't measure it. So let's see how it measures. Okay. Oh, it will look at my heart rate, I guess. The Okay, because I moved a little bit, that's why it got screwed up there. So you probably just take this data and they have some model they fit into to kind of track. So I'm here in my stress level is still at the green green area. As you can see, I'm recording, so I have a little bit of stress, right? So. I guess that's why. And then if I really get stressful, I think later, let's see if I do it when I have measured this at work, see what happens. And then I think for stress, so they, they'll have to give you some breathing exercise. So here, that's what they do, right? 30 cycles. And they tell you to breathe, inhale, release, inhale, release, to help uh, hold, release. Inhale, release. Okay, so this is an illustration uh, of the breathing. Uh, it's for stress release because if you breathe a lot, right, or or release a lot, you know your stress level goes down.
Okay, the next one is the heart rate, me heart rate measurement thingy. I think it's a quite a typical feature all the watch has, right? Like even my Xiaomi watch has it. So, oh, right now my heart rate is pretty high. Perhaps it's because I'm really recording a video, that's why. Okay. So that's my heart heartbeat around 82 beat per second. So I think one thing to note is uh, you, you swipe that, you swipe right from the left edge to go back one page and the same if you want to go forward on that other page. Okay, let's move on to the next feature. Next feature is uh, you measure blood, blood, uh, blood oxygen level. So typically it's always 99%, so I'm not sure what this does so but it is an interesting feature I think it's almost impossible for this to be not 99% or more I guess I'll have to read more about it on this All right still 99% just as expected okay Let's move on to the next feature. The next feature is blood pressure. Uh, so I think you can measure the blood pressure on, on with this, but I haven't calibrated with a real, uh, real blood pressure tool. So I'll showcase that later. Well, if I ever come back to this, here's the ECG. I think it it, it records your heartbeat pattern and then to give assessment and could we want to see if there's anything abnormal if the, the risk of like heart skip or heart attack so I'm going to show it to you so okay I think you can record and then do one session so you need to strap strap to your wrist quite tight right so going down right and then okay and I pu put my finger lightly on the home button it will start recording my beat. Look at the details, right? It's very... The glitter in there is pretty good. That's why they can... kind of do a very good job of this. You can see, uh, because I'm talking, right? And it distracted this a little bit. Five, four, three, two one seeing sinus rhythm saying my heart rhythm looks okay right okay so here I have it is the ECG I think the blood pressure is actually the one of the thing that's one of the interesting style things I want to check out because my mom does have high blood pressure it would be interesting it would be good if she had this kind of gadget right if this actually works all right so here I have it this is a quick uh, look up to my new Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 right got this for how much do I have to pay for this got this for around 70 bucks right because of my phone plan I decided to get this instead of a phone okay so here is the here's the the charging cable so this is actually magnetic Just be careful here that I don't damage the watch. So you can see when you put put this on it, stick to it, right? It's magnetic. So I think that for nature of this watch is supposed to be charged every day. Uh from my first day I charged it one hundred percent, I just put it outside and then the watch alone do nothing. It, it it loses around thirty percent of the battery. So I think battery is one of the things that we need to look for. It's comparing to my Xiaomi watch. Xiaomi watch I've been using for two years and then it lasts for like four to five days 
on charge, and this is this can probably last two days if I lose it, use it lightly. But that's not something we need to kind of track for this kind of watch with so much features. All right, here I have it. Here's my quick sharing of Galaxy Watch. And then if you have any questions, leave a comments below, and then like the video if you like. And see you guys next time. Peace.